and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. It is your girl Lynn Way, and there's absolutely no way without going through the way. And we believe that Jesus Christ is the way. He is the way in the truth and the lie. Anyway, I do not have side effects to actually make that kind of music by myself. But today is day 11 out of 14, and that means we are close to the finish line. That means we're close to the end. And I am excited, just, just as much as I was excited when it began, I'm still excited now, but now I'm more excited that like, obviously the shooting is, is sh the shooting of the, the devotional and the editing is a very long process people, I feel like people don't understand how long it takes to shoot and record something and actually edit it and add captions, like all of those things take so much time. But anyway, uh, so for today's devotional, which is day number 11. I'm go oh, I forgot that I need to start recording. Forgot about that. I was about to start. So day number 11, we're gonna talk about how love always protects. Always and always and always protects. I love that so much. Um, and I was crying today, like, Obviously, if you watched yesterday's video, you understand the context of why I'm saying I was crying today. Because this specific devotional is the one that I actually did today. So day 11 was done today on, I forgot the date, <laughs> I forgot, the 12th, like my mom's birthday is tomorrow. Um, yes, it's the 12th today. And I was crying because I didn't get what I wanted and God said, what I have for you is better. And that did not make me feel better. <laughs> uh, and. Then I was obviously, when I did this devotional, things started to come into more perspective about what God meant that, you know, what he has for me is better than what I want. I was like, God, come on, I want this. I'm like, no, not now. But anyway, um, because for some reason, why is this red? Is it always red? It went off. Did it go off? What happened? Oh, my goodness. This is just an interesting thing this never happened my laptop just literally turned off for some reason okay as long as it's still recording ugh, now i have to edit things out because it's still recording but anyway the important thing that i was saying right is uh because god's love is protective even towards ourselves like a parent with, is with their child and it made sense um after i said that and i start this devotional like this because God loves us and always protects us even like from ourselves he protects us from the devil he protects us from our, from our from people from all kinds of attack and in Matthew 1 verse 23 it speaks about how well it says the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel which means God with us and I love it because I always cling to this when things get tough because I'm just like God you were here with me right now and you were with me and uh, the reason I read the scripture is because the oldest aspect of it insinuates that and it means that all the time this means that we ought to love one another in such a way that is always looking out for one another that means every single time you are always always all the time looking for the best interest for the next person looking to be selfless looking for opportunities to cover and protect and honestly like i was thinking the other day that there should be something called friendship chemistry because i'm sure there is i just don't like i don't study social sciences like i just know diagnosis and stuff but the whole point of bringing that up is because I have some friends and like I have a lot of friends well not a lot like I have enough I have friends and they care so much they love so much they love so deeply doesn't make sense and then I have friends of the opposite sex that's the part that I never really thought was possible and then now that I've like really gone through scripture and I'm really like actually it is possible for, for male and female to be friends without any sexual attraction between them and i'm just like thank you lord for saving my life because i've experienced such great protection from my brothers in christ in such a way that i cannot explain i feel like if i am to look at how a woman should be protected or feel secure in society 
like the men that I've surrounded myself with in in faith have shown me that you can be safe you can be and obviously this does not mean I'm flirty flirty blah 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 jumpy jumpy all over them I'm not I'm very respectful um, I side hug all of them except on their birthdays because that's like a special occasion and sometimes you get over excited and sometimes people really need a front hug so side hug <laughs> it's it's a whole different story uh, but just like the thought of that like really just had me thinking about how when you hug somebody or when somebody hugs you you feel so safe in their space you feel you feel in their space you know you feel like nothing can harm you and that's how God wraps his hands around us that's how he's always with us that's how he's constantly in love with us constantly time and time again constantly forever you know in that cycle of waking up and realizing God is right here with me God is with me when I sin <laughs> God is with me when I repent God is with me when I come back God is with me when I rededicate my life God is with me when I go to the cab God is with me that I'm not saying go to the cab but I'm just saying like wherever you are God is there <laughs> because he's with you you know he's with us and especially once you receive Christ and you're like okay God be with me that is activated it never gets turned off um, it never gets turned off and he's always going to be protecting you always like he's in the details in the background just making sure that you don't get into that taxi that's going to get into a car accident or as long as it's not just your time like it's just it's interesting how it works and yeah I just wanted to say today like really God is with us and love will always protect that means you are always going to protect the people that you love if you ever find yourself putting the people you love in harm's way maybe you should question whether or not you love them yeah thank you so much for watching <laughs> i don't know how i ended up going that far and that deep uh and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and remember to share this with a friend if you were listening on my podcast and sorry about the you know the mishap that happened with my computer the editing of this is gonna be so hard because I'm gonna have to clip that part out for the Instagram and TikTok. But I signed up for this life. I told the Lord, send me. He asked and I was like, I will go. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, bye guys. Enjoy.